Morning, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to welcome you on next Industry 5.0 presentation. This time we will touch the quality control and we will see how it will look like in the age of Industry 5.0. My name is Mike Rada and I'm the founder of Industry 5.0. So let's start with a little bit of the background. Industry 5.0 is the first industrial evolution ever led by man, by human, and it is based on the principles of industrial upcycling. And industrial upcycling is the first in the world systematic waste prevention methodology applicable for industries. Industry 5.0 and industrial upcycling aim the systematic utilization of the on the ground mines. And within the years of the existence, it prevented already over 1 million metric tons of products to become waste. And if we are speaking about waste, Industry 5.0 recognizes four types of waste. It is physical waste, social waste, urban waste and process waste. We can touch the details later. And what is quality control? If you look at Wikipedia, we will see that quality control is the process with an entitles review the quality of all factors involved in production. Is it so in your own factory? We can have a look from the point of ISO 9000. It is a part of quality control management focused on fulfilling quality requirements. Sound similar, but it's not the same. And what are the elements? Controls, jobs, management and processes. What is the competence? It is knowledge, skills and qualification and soft elements. What they are about? Personal, integrity, confidence, culture. All of them should be included in quality control. So what is the relation between quality control and the waste? It is a very close relationship, really, uh, because in many of the factories I have seen, you will see what I have seen. So generally quality control minimizes and eliminates the deviation from the standards. And this is the basic point, because it's apply control tools to deliver the standard, but in fact, it does not define the standard. And it does not take any responsibility for the non-standard items. And frequently, non-standard means pre-waste. And unfortunately, 95% of the pre-waste turn into waste. So you see, the relationship is very close. And in some cases, I have seen that 100% of the production ends up due to QC issues as a waste. Full day, full shift. How the reality look like, I ha can see it in a, pr in a factories of my clients. Generally, I see similar pictures. This is one shift. Output. Just three meter high, five meter in diameter. And you know what? 75% of those are QC related topics. I'm very happy to see a truck full of radish until I see that the step and the process is to throw it away because the griefs are not the green, the leaves are not green enough for the QC on the side of the client. I see huge hills of wooden packaging single use one because 100% is rated NG by QC because 
it's not new. Not that it's not broken, because it's not new. This is not a parking lot in front of a factory. This is a graveyard of new cars. And for those, 100% NG, because they are not for sale. They are produced for being produced. So in Industry 5.0, we have defined, extended or expanded QC, EQC. And it is serving as a waste prevention tool because it's co-defined the standard. And this is a very important point. It co-create the post-processing map, which does not exist at the moment because waste means, waste container means general landfill. EQC defined the secondary utilization rules. What can happen? with the material or with the product which has been rated as QC, it control and keep the evidence of the NGs and it downsize the volume of waste. In fact, EQC is the new sustainability tool which nobody con considered before looking at a QC. So how will the quality control look in the age of Industry 5.0 so QC is not an enemy, it is a partner to all the departments. It prevention the issues. This is the prioritize action. And it does not just report, but it delivers the solution. NG, thank you, thanks to EQG, EQC, is not the end, but the start of EQC process. And the proactive education and communication, it's part, very important part of the work. So as the multi-level relationship across the global supply chain, and it is creativity driven because it looks for material and products behavior to predict the further steps. In waste management and waste industry, the ground stone is called waste pyramid. You have heard for sure, reduce, reuse, recycle, 3R. But in fact, this does not work. These only increase the volume of waste and wasting. And generally, if you will try to build up your future on the top of a pyramid, you will not succeed. Many tried before. So this is why Industry 5.0 have another ground stone and it's a cubic. It's the real ground stone on which you can build a future on. Firstly, you have to recognize that something must not become waste. And if you do so, you have to reconsider what to do with it. And finally, you realize it. And then you have no waste. And this is the way of Industry 5.0 and the function of EQC. Because we have to go from wasteful to wasteless. Education system must grow humans, not machine or components. The main tool is creativity and openness. This is what the man has in his head. Efficient communication is the next one. And we shouldn't waste our time by asking five times why if we spend our time to put the right question and to ask it. We have to teach everyone that to be a different is not a shame and that everyone, every single one can change the world because of the hand of his work, of, of the work of his hands. And everyone should be proud to the only title he or she will have to be a human. We are living in a world where everyone is trying to do something. And Industry 5.0 is 
the first industrial evolution ever led by man. It is not the fifth revolution. It is a new mindset of people and businesses from wasteful to wasteless. It delivered the results without the need of capital investment and it based on the principles of systematic waste prevention. And it is a systematic utilization of underground mind and industry 5.0, please do remember. It is not a sales tool and it is not a product. It is based on transparency, profit sharing and efficiency. We are living in the age where the work has been digitalized. We are living in the age when our leisure time has been digitalized and in the year where our education has been digitalized. So it looks like the only step which is needed to be to achieve the complexity is that the human should be digitalized. But if we do so, our work will look like this. It will be black because data don't need light. And to be honest, I don't like this picture. This is why I decided seven years ago to build a world without waste and wasting in all its forms. And my world look like this, like the beautiful blue marble. Because it is everyone's decision which way he or she will choose. And I choose my own. I build the world without waste and wasting in all its forms. And Industry 5.0 is a tool. And EQC will be the next one. And we have one for education. We have one for banking. We have one for almost every segment. And if we don't have one, we will develop it. So right now it is your choice which way you will choose. And if you struggle on your way, please get in touch with me. I will help you. Let us build Wasteless World together. Let us build the world without waste and wasting in all its forms. And please do it and stay safe. Thank you.